We're live? I don't know why I'm screaming. It may be quiet today because there's no kids in the house. Sam Hamas? Ham, Hamas or Shamas? Okay, first of all, before we get going, I just got my notification on my phone, so I'm going to wait a few minutes for everyone else to get their notification. Uh, let's close that. Okay, so let's just do a roll call and see who's here thus far. DSLR Dave, as always, nice to see you. MTL Maz. Maz, um, put some info in, right, for the fight that's coming up on February 2nd, where I'm going to go vlog and have an evening of my life. Um, Maz Maz is, uh, Maz, actually, tell people what you're doing here. I, I'm not, I don't want to tell too much or not tell enough. Judith Scott is drinking tea. I hate to do it, people. I'm drinking Red Bull this time, and I didn't open it so that no one accuses me of, like, drinking something not only Red Bullish. Um, we got Patrick, what's up? DSL Day. It's the Boom Boom at work, but online. Booyah. It's the Boom. What are you doing working on a Sunday? Although I suspect every, somebody has to work on a Sunday. DSLR Dave, DSLR Dave. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I just caught up a lot of people here. MTL Maz. How's everyone doing? Rachel Rawson's in the house. Wesley Ferrers. Now, I know I missed someone's comment. Sam Hamas. Shamus. Daily vlogger from Montreal, Quebec. Just started one month and I have absolutely no goals for the channel yet, so hope to learn something today. Okay, well, first thing we're going to do, and I'm, I, we're going to go in, like in, a, in an order and have some structure today. We're going to talk about that Air Mexico ad because I've been obsessed with it since I've seen it. We'll talk about... That's right. <laughs> GoPro giveaway. These I did not buy, people, so I have to give GoPro absolute... Thanks and awesomeness because uh, I told him I'm going to be on breakfast television tomorrow for anyone who's from Montreal talking about CES and the GoPro Million Dollar Challenge and all sorts of you know YouTube stuff. And um, I said I want to show off some GoPro stuff, but I don't want to have this you know my my beat up stuff the, as the props I'm going to use. So I said, could you send me just one or two things and I'll give it away on my channel afterwards? And they said, booyah, go ahead and. Uh, we got it. So thanks, GoPro. This is going to be an awesome giveaway. And we're going to talk about what type of giveaway to do, right? Because I want to um, I want to do this one well in a selfish way. I want to use this giveaway to promote this channel, my channel, as much as possible. So we'll get to that in a bit. Who did I miss here? Sam Hamas. Jasmino, Jasmine Jajo, XOXO. Oh, my God. Hi. I've, a new name. I've never seen this name. Chris Wickless. I know I've seen your name before. Kyle, the Bushcraft Kid. I definitely know your name. Miss Space Cadet. Mariah Lynn. Uh, Sarah Bellum. Can't believe I got notification on time for a change. Yeah, this is good. And we're up to 38 people. Five thumbs up. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Can everyone share this on some social media to let people know who may not know that we're live? And then we'll get into the good stuff in a few minutes uh, once we give people a few minutes to get here. Oh, yeah. And give a thumbs up to the thumb up thingy. Doesn't seem to be going up, and I'm giving it a thumbs up. Rachel Rawson is here. Hey, Viva. MFL. Oh, Montreal Fightly. Okay, so uh, Maz, Maz, uh, go to MFL on Facebook. Whenever I see MFL, I unfortunately think FML, but it's not that. It's Montreal Fight League. Um, Mont on Facebook and it's very cool I've, I've never been to a live fight or even a live um, improvised fight, I've never seen a fight before I've never actually seen people punch each other in the face live uh, on television Bruce Wayne okay, Bruce Wayne found the live stream, very nice, welcome Bruce Wesley Ferreira SPU, do Brazil um, what does SPU mean? and we got Adele Etherton, Etherton being on daytime television should really promote you well. It's fun. It's promoting. I mean, at least I'm promoting myself to people in Montreal and people who don't know me here will learn about what I do. And uh, who knows if I bring enough value to breakfast television, um, maybe we'll parlay it into uh, something of a show. MI Brazil, Wesley Ferreira. Adam Abu Saleh says, I don't know how I got here. Adam, welcome. Stay for a few minutes. Don't, look, don't run. It's going to be good. Sabrina Forlini's here. Uh, Sierra LVX. Hello from BC. Hello, hello. I was just watching a fishing show, uh, outdoor, what is it? Outdoor British Columbia sports fishing. It's a fishing show from British Columbia. MTL Maz, super chat, five bucks. Thank you very much, MTL Maz. I can't wait for the vlog next Saturday. I, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to bring like three GoPros, my DSLR, my iPhone, slow-mo people getting punched and kicked in the face. It's going to be glorious. Um, now, where was I? I got distracted. Oh, yes, British Columbia. Um, I was watching them fishing for uh, sturgeon on the Fraser River. It was amazing. Vane Sanks says, love your attitude, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack open some Red Bull because that helps my attitude as well sometimes. Wesley Ferris says, hi. Hello, Judith Scott. It's lagging a lot here. Anyone else notice lagging? How is the audio? How is the 
The lighting looks pretty good. If anybody doesn't know what's going on in Montreal today, that. Just make sure that there's nothing embarrassing on my table. <laughs> um, and go check out. Oh, and also go check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, although I don't really like those platforms. Oh, someone remind me to vent about Twitter uh, before the end of this live stream. Um, okay, DSLR Day says it's good. On the vlog says, are you announcing the winner of the second GoPro giveaway or are you announcing the start of the second? I Today, as when we discuss that, I want to announce the modality. How do we do it in the most engaging, uh, viral, shareable way possible? And then we're going to launch it and we'll do the same method of selecting the winner, which is going to be selecting a comment uh, from the comment section of the video that's going to announce the launch uh, on a live stream. Uh, again, you won't have to be here for the live stream. And I'm going to give one of these things away just on my own. I think we're going to give away this three-way tripod just on my own to select the winner of whoever gives the best concept for the giveaway. So we'll get to it. Um, no lagging, no nothing. Okay, we got Heart Rose 33 in Michigan. We got hit with snow. Yeah, we got, we got snow here. So that's what I was going to say. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see a picture of my dog. Uh, he has not pooped yet today because uh, he doesn't want to stay outside for long enough to make the poop. The other one pooped, but uh, she, does it, she does it involuntarily. Uh, Adele Ethan says, oh yeah, Parma, Ohio, we have 15 inches of snow overnight. That's got to be magical. Wesley Ferris says, MIA, which I no means Mia as a name or missing in action. Make sure never to drink Red Bull with liquor. Don't worry. This little stuff on the bottom is lime juice, and I'm drinking my Red Bull now. It was either Red Bull or coffee today, but um, I just want Red Bull. Oh, the fizzing noises. Terrible, terrible. I know it's bad. I know it's bad, but it's half as bad as drinking a Coke in terms of calories and sugar. Okay, we're done. We got lucky and our dog did her biz this AM. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> no, the one, the one, you know, the paralyzed puggle, I lift her up and sort of tickle her in the poop. I can make the poop come out. But the Barney, the Frenchie is a stubborn, stubborn uh, dog. Did you watch Matt Pat before the Thieves video? Did did I watch Matt Pat before the Thieves video? Um, no. Okay, so... Who's, who's just said this? Ja Jasmine Yayo, XOXO. Um, the guy, the legal eagle tweeted me his video, which was talking about how MatPat and game theorists stole his concept or his content from his video dealing with the Fortnite dance. Then I watched MatPat's and then I made the joke that, you know, everybody steals from everybody because they must have stolen from me. And I didn't, I missed the biggest punchline of all in that because... There's a law, another lawyer YouTuber named Ian Corzin, or Corzine, I don't know, I'm not exact shape, not said C O R Z I N E, he's from California. He's a lawyer. He did one about a week and a half before mine talking about the Fortnite. So I could have made this whole chain of like Matt Pat stole from Legal Legal, stole from me, I stole from Corzine, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, so there was, a, there was, check out Ian Corzine's law vlog if you like the law vlogs, because his channel is dedicated law, whereas mine is uh, everything and anything. Can you do more cooking videos? Bushcraft Kid, I have the video edited, uploaded. I got the authorization from my best buddy whose kids are in it. It's the squid cooking and the calamari cooking, but I didn't upload it yet. And it's not coming tomorrow. Tomorrow is another very short Montreal Monday. It's coming next week. And also coming next week, 42 people and 22 thumbs up. We're missing 20 thumbs up. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Um, also coming next week is a video that I made. It's sort of a totally different style. Um, and I had to run it by a bunch of people just to make sure that it was not, I don't want to be pretentious and I don't want to be, um, I want it to come off properly and I had to make sure that it resonates the way I want it to. And it's sort of, it's a play on the draw of my life, except it's called a picture of my life. And, and you'll see it. It's coming out. I'm going to think maybe I'll publish it Friday, um, Monday, tomorrow. We have a Montreal Monday. I'm going to do a law vlog for Thursday. And then the, the cooking video is coming out sometime next week. I'm here. Just subscribe. This is Riley Finchfield food reviews. Okay, Riley, well, stick tuned, stick tuned, stay tuned, stick around this week. Shh, the dogs are going to make noise. Uh, I got a good cooking video coming out, and it's a good one. It's almost as good as the poutine video in terms of, like, showcasing good cooking and family stuff and, 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 and good times with family and kids. Uh, where can I email you the video explaining it? Vincent, send me an email, david at vivafry.com. David at V-I-V-A-F-R-E-I.com. Corzine, goddamn spell check, I think. Excuse me. Okay, so Riley Finchwood Food Review says, I'm 40 away from 1.1 thousand. I presume that means subscribers, and that is an arbitrary number. Eat, it's an arbitrary number, but everyone, I've never checked Riley Finchwood Food Reviews. I don't know if there's offensive content on that channel, so do not take this as an endorsement if there is. Um, 
I have no problem. Uh, you know, I, I love it when people want to bring attention to their channels in the comment section. And Igor, Igor, oh, the kids are coming. The kids are coming. Okay, say goodbye to the quiet time. Uh, Igor Braltsev. Hello from Alberta. Nice walks. Thanks. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Um, Mariah Lynn says, I love food. So Hi, Wait, I need to know for everyone. Everyone who wants a snow day tomorrow, search up on Google um, snow day rituals, and they'll tell you how to make a snow day. Wear someone a sock with black on your right foot, and one that's colorful on your left foot. There are a bunch of others. Go do it, because I want a snow day. <laughs> And I would love to know if anyone understood a word <laughs> that she just said. The last thing you need is Red Bull. <laughs> you go. I, I'm convinced Red Bull is like is like has the the opposite effect on me. It calms me down. It allows me to focus. Like, look how relaxed I am now. Here's another one. Put a spoon under your pillow. This is how children get blinded and gouge out eyeballs in the middle of the night. Okay, John Cena says hi, Mila. Rawson says hi, Mila. Uh, Sierra LBX. Yeah. Okay, I think they're going back outside. <laughs> LVX, uh, has she had Red Bull? <laughs> I don't know what she had. Um, who said that? Okay, Newland says, not a word. Mila is in the house. Yeah, no pun intended. And so is Lila. So is Lila. Mike Dancy. Okay, so let's, do we start with the um, Aeromexico ad? Let's, do, I want to do, we'll do something substantive. How many minutes into this are we? We're 11 minutes. If anyone were to hypothetically post a comment with the time markings for the subjects, I would definitely pin that as the top comment. So 11 minutes, 45 seconds. Has everyone seen the Arrow Mexico ad? Chris Wickless says that was the best. Shh, shh. Let's calm down, people. Random dudes, random dudes in the house. I know that kid. Um, so I'm curious as to what everyone thought of the ad. Okay. What did everyone think of the ad? If anyone wants to post the comments in the side, and I'll read them as we go through. Yes. She said something about the toilet for every inch of snow that I want. I don't. We'll talk about it after the live stream. Someone said they might be getting a puppy soon. Kyle, the bushcraft kid, said he might be getting a puppy soon. Well, the dog will not remain a puppy forever. Just remember that. Yeah, my head, Rachel Rawson says the house was suspicious and quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, they're, they're talking about something to induce a snow day for school tomorrow. Heather Boyd Wire is in the house. Heather Boyd, I met at an event in Montreal uh, for YouTubers. Heather, put a link to your to your social in there so people can go find your comics or follow you on Instagram. And we got Virgie, allo. Est-ce que le live stream vient de commencer? Yeah, ça vient de commencer il y a 13 minutes. It started 13 minutes ago. So now here's the deal. I like the video driving the canoe with the drone. Yeah, if anyone hasn't seen that, Google drone pulls canoe. I've done everything with my drone. Although now with the new rules from Transport Canada, I believe there might be a prohibition against towing vehicles with a drone. I'm joking. Uh, Chris Wickless says, that was the best. Talking about your kid. Oh, the, the Red Bull, yes. Um, your kids are live stream trolls, says Sierra LBX. Yeah, they like, they like live streaming. Animal lovers in the house. This is another family member. On parle de l'annonce. Oh yeah, so, okay, so the, the, here's the thing about the ad, and it's, I still haven't figured it out. It was clear at the time, and everyone said it was a troll, but it wasn't clear, like there are levels, and there are sort of, not degrees, but rather, there are different tiers of troll. Like, the troll of the ad might have been that the campaign was actually going to give discounts based on DNA. That might have been the ultimate troll, like, take that consumer protection laws or whatever, we're actually going to do it. The troll might have been letting you think they were gonna do it uh, while using real people to convey uh, you know, the message from, from that, that, that town in Texas. The troll might have been that it was all acted, scripted and whatever, but that it was done to trick people. So I still don't know where the troll is. And, and I, was, you know, I was looking into it when I was doing the video that I just put up on um, price discrimination. And the idea of giving the discounted rate based on DNA as ludicrous in law as it sounded to me at first was not so preposterous. There was, there was an article, do I, I'll post the link. Yeah, I'll post the link afterwards. But there was an article about a chef in Louisiana, in New Orleans, who was offering the same meal and pricing it differently. He was under the guise of a social experiment, but he was pricing it differently based on race to illustrate um, the discrepancy in income based on race in New Orleans. And you know, he explained to the, the patrons afterwards so that everyone knew it was a social experiment. But 
the idea wasn't so preposterous to even begin with that a lot of news agencies were running with it as though it was true. So it was totally cool. I said, okay, now we saw, Sam Hanna says, I saw the ad, the promotion is specifically targeted states in the Western states, including Arizona and Utah. And that's the thing. In the ad, it shows the states where they're offering the discounts. Now, whether or not we believe the discount is a DNA discount or just a discount, there's there was too much truth or at least seemingly uh, real advertising in the ad for you to know where the troll was in the ad. Um, and with the, the one thing that drives me a little nuts is that if it were, forget the Mexico ad, what do you think about the recent Gillette ad? Oh, we'll get to that one, Vince Land. I, I, you can imagine, I, 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 if anyone follows me on Twitter, I, I didn't, wasn't shocked or appalled about the ad. I, I think it's, I don't like opportunistic marketing from big corporations. I don't, I, it drives me nuts when big corporations it doesn't mess with anybody who's not my father tries to act as my father, especially when they have no moral authority or parental role. And when I didn't give them any moral authority or parental role, you know, it was the same problem I had with Nike when they came out with their ad is you politicize uh, commerce or you politicize capitalism. Or you, that's the dogs. You politicize things that are not intended to be politicized. And I don't want to feel that I'm making a political statement when I buy a pair of shoes or when I wear a pair of shoes that I already have. I don't want to feel that I'm making a political statement when I go buy a razor. Um, and I didn't empower these corporations with moral authorities to, to, to tell me things and to act like my father and to act like the father to my children. And that that's the issue that I have with these ads. Above and beyond that, you know, they, they, they hijack social movements for their own corporate and financial benefit. And that drives me crazy. Um, on the vlog says you're confused about what we're talking about. We're talking about that Aero Mexico ad, and then I, we got sidetracked onto the Gillette ad. Um, okay, Mike Dancy is having a conversation with Bushcraft Kids, so I don't need to go into that. And Mike Hamas says Hispanics make up 29% of Arizona's population, not sure of Utah. Do I know any Romanians? Says I am family. My grandmother, my maternal grandmother, was either. I don't think she was Romanian birth, but she was Romanian descent from her parents or her grandparents. But um, I've never been to Romania. Vince Lance says, they won't ever get a dime from me, LOL. Not that I shaved much. Still use my granddad's old school style. It's just, it's, 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 it's like there's an expression that, um, what's the word? Not fanaticism, but um, it's another word for a fanatic. But it's it's the inability to change. It's like turning everything political when it doesn't have to be and when it shouldn't be, um, and and moralizing like everybody, and moralizing and lecturing, and and that sort of brings me into the other thing where I've just been losing it with my tolerance level for Twitter, which it is making me. Oh. I don't. <laughs> I hope you're my wife. Attention de ne pas perdre les chiens d'or, c'est l'apocalypse. So that says, uh, be careful not to lose your dogs outside, it's the apocalypse. Sarah Bellum says, hi, Marion. Um, hi. Yeah, poor Marion. Well, I'm going to go out and join them in a bit, maybe. It's so cold out. It's cold. It's something like minus 20 somewhat with the windshield or minus 30 with the windshield. Because the, you can't really see if one's going to This is Vince says, the toxic male BS narrative is out of control. Been starting to hear it at work now. You know, my, I know someone who posted an article about uh, how masculinity is not a disease on Facebook. And, but, like, it's just for the, the, I think before the era of social media, people used to have these discussions and they used to have these disagreements and these, in these, these debates, but they would have it on a much less pervasive scale. It's like, I, I go on Twitter now and it's just nothing. I mean, Twitter, everyone knows it's nothing but it, but, like, it's, it, we don't have to constantly just be spouting things that we believe that we know a lot of other people are not going to believe just to show people what we believe. And this is where I've been getting irritated with Twitter to the point where I almost want to shut it down. Um, oh, let's see. Mike Dancy says, I joined Twitter in 2008 when I was working with these venture capitalist guys. One of them invested in it and was trying to explain this to me. Now I'm hooked. Well, Dancy, I mean, I, first of all, Twitter's still op operating at a loss from what I understand. I don't think they've been, they haven't operated at a profit since they've gone public. Um, which is suspicious to me. Um, so anyhow, that brought us, this brings us to the second subject, which was Twitter. Like, you know, I, I follow guys like Dan Mace and Gary V and like, it seems like, you know, there's tweets where everybody's tweeting articles that they think are important and this and that, and then randomly just preachy tweets. One, one of them was one of the ones where I got a little, not say frustrated at, at, at Dan Mace, not to pick on this in particular. It's just 
the tweet was, if you're offended by the Gillette ad, the ad was intended for you. I'm like, I am, I mean, not the best father in the world. I do my best to be the best father, the best male role model that I can possibly be. I understand how people get irritated by that ad and that and are not the objects of that ad. And just people saying these these things, like just to just to say them and drive wedges between people who should otherwise be getting along and not fighting over these things. It's, I don't understand it. And it seems to be pervasive with Twitter. Less pervasive on Instagram, which is wonderful. Facebook. Well, well, whatever, Facebook. Vince Lance says, let me, let your boy be a boy, David. Hello. Well, <laughs> Vince Lance says, hey, yep, ça va, merci. Et okay, so um, 20 minutes, 45 seconds. What does anyone want to talk about? Oh, Mark Allen Golo is in the house. Mark, can I say who you are? Of course I can say who Mark is. Mark is my cousin-in-law. He's the minister with whom I was fishing uh, on the paddle boat who does, uh, I don't want to say online marriage, not online marriages, sorry, online services for how to be a wedding officiant. Mark, you can put in a link, right? You can put, it, put in a link, Mark. Mark's got his own YouTube channel uh, for anyone who wants to learn how to be uh, an officiant. I did one marriage and um, not doing another one. <laughs> I think I'm bad luck. <laughs> Bruce Wayne said, the only difference is that the trend is not the major one. Hold on, I missed something if we're going to back it up. Heather Boyd says, LOL, preachy tweet. No, and then, and then Gary Vaynerchuk, last night, what did he say? He says, if your parents have ever bought you a house, you have no right to talk. Don't say anything. I think, first of all, I'm offended at that, and I, no one in the world has bought me a house. It's like, it's just these judgmental tweets that, hold on, someone wants to say hi. It's these judgmental tweets. Just to, I, Igor, stop it. You don't have to. Thank you very much, Igor. If I'm ever in Calgary or around, don't push the computer. If I'm ever collab for a video, if I'm ever 100%, if you're in Montreal, call me. And if I'm in Calgary, I will, I will, I will, I'll call you or you'll know it from social media. Mm. But anyways, tweets, it's like, it's like, it's like social media is like, people seem to think social media is, is like just the, the place to do it. It's, it's no more bizarre than walking around with a bullhorn, screaming what you believe to people on the street. Um, hey, Barney. Hello. My name is Barney. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Barney, super dog, super dog can't stay outside for two minutes in this weather. Two minutes, it's too cold. Oh, you're falling down. You're falling. Down. Okay, go get out of here. No, you want to stay? Okay. Um, Mark Allen goes says, "Haha, how to officiate a wedding." Dot ca. I hate not being able to dispute everything you say. <laughs> Anyways, Mark and I. Oh, Mark, I've got a fishing video that I haven't edited together where I was fishing with Mark. Mark felt the defeat of losing a pike, which I caught the next day, either that pike or another pike, because it had one of my hooks in its mouth, um, in addition to the hook it had in its mouth. Uh, anyway, so Mark, that video is coming, but go check out Mark if anybody wants to officiate a wedding. It's a thing, and it's cool. Um, okay, let's see what we've got here. Benita Shige, oh, Sarah Bellum says, some people just look and enjoy making themselves look righteous, and Twitter seems to be the perfect place and platform. Yeah, and it's like, it's like, and just, it's just so, like, it, dichotomically, that's not a word, but it's like, it's just like, there has to be a dichotomy. It's good or evil. Everybody's, if you don't believe me, you're evil. If you don't agree with me, you're evil. And how, if you're, if you're, if you're not this, you're this. It's like, the world is, is nuanced. The, you know, everything, there's, there's nuance and people are allowed to have different beliefs without being vilified for them. Okay, hold on. Now I'm getting, now I'm getting back on things here. He's going to poop on your laptop. No, no, he, <laughs> we'll see if I tickle him. Benia Shagiv is in the house. She says, hey, David, good evening. Did you see that they used your watermelon video? In a now, now this video, I'm gonna go see who's licensing that video to make sure that I get the licensing royalties. Life as a YouTuber is you gotta you eat what you kill. <laughs> I didn't see that. Though. Um, sorry, oh, Benia, could you could you put the link in so we can see that? I, I I love it when people find videos I've done on their own and tweet them to me. It makes me feel useful. Uh, let's see. Okay, and and Enneagram Eight. My Twitter is just. A mess, and my tweets get zero engagement, while others get so much. Yeah, I, I use Twitter. If anybody follows me, I use Twitter strictly as a as a means to try to reach people who don't know I exist, um, and get my videos maybe some exposure by tweeting them to entities or people or companies that might think they're interesting. Aero Mexico did not uh, retweet my uh, video explaining why that type of first degree price discrimination based on DNA would be totally illegal. <laughs> Could you make your own fishing lure and make a video of you fishing with it? Kyle, 
I have one. Check it out. There was a custom lure by Len Thompson. Len Thompson, if you're watching, sponsor me this year. Let's make this happen. Um, they made me, it was, they, they printed six lures. They were like um, Northern Pike spoons, just like the spoon with my face on them. DSLR Dave, if you can take a picture, I have, I have one picture actually, but if you can take a picture of the ones, I gave the last two to DSLR Dave for his friend. DSLR Dave is the guy who does my thumbnails, uh, amazing thumbnails. So I gave the last two to him for his friend. If you can take a picture, post it on social media, tag me and so people can see it. But uh, that I want to do like, like get a real one, like maybe make a lure with a, like a, like a diving lure with my face on it. I would be horrifying. Am I, am I, oh, I'm not up to speed here. Twitter is one of the few places I am more popular than you, Red Bull. Oh, this is Rachel Austin. I, I you know what? I, I, I'm not sure I want to be popular on Twitter. I, there's, it seems that the only tweets that get engagement are nasty, uh, mean-spirited, uh, you know, prom not promoting, but rather capturing uh, something bad or something negative. Uh, anyhow. On the vlog says, I'm doing my geometry homework right now and I'm learning proofs. Hmm. Well, I hope I'm not too obtuse for you. Okay, never mind. Uh, Sam Hamas says, where do we draw the line? Spelling. Everything isn't black and white. We portray it to be people need to calm down a bit. Uh, Chris, Wick Chris Wickless, absolutely. Heather Boyd says, oh my God, great idea. Do it yourself. Fishing lures, I'm on it. It has to have this, this punim on it. And then I have to have like maybe a bill... And then you can picture this face like vibrating under, I mean, the fish would attack it just to kill it, not because they want to eat it. Um, Rachel Rawson, you know I don't tend to tweet so much and I tend to interact with other people's tweets. Yes, I know Rachel Rawson, um, very much interactive with, with, my, with my stuff and I with hers and I love it. Someone says, too bad they missed it? Natasha Bajan, you did not miss the live stream, we're still going. Pooza Studios in the house, if anybody doesn't know Pooza Studios, I did an interview with them a while back. They have a great channel where they do, Pooza Studio mixes gambling with YouTube, which is the best combination ever because they have like this wheel where you get a uh, spotlight on your channel. If, you've, if you haven't seen their channel, check it out. It's very nice. Montreal is also. Benicia, yeah, sorry, it took me a sec to find. You are at the very end. Okay, awesome. And where's the link? I don't see the link. Oh, maybe the link is getting flagged as spam. Oh, Benicia, yeah, anyways, either way, find a way, email it to me, david at vivafry.com or direct message it to me. Dancy says, if you think that this thread is hard to read, have you ever seen one of Marquez Brandley's when they go live? Yeah, I mean, look, when PewDiePie goes live, they have they, it's useless. It's almost as useless as like the live streams for, uh, if anyone hasn't seen it, but the live stream, the live sub count for PewDiePie's uh, T-Series battle there, the comments, it's useless. There's no, oh, the, how did he, web search turn something up how did Siri get comments. activated? Whatever, it's crazy. No, I, don't, I did, wasn't talking to you, Siri. Uh, we got Pooza Studio says Jesse Robert Garza. Hello, Patrick sent pics today. Thanks for the lure. Cannot wait. Okay, Patrick, I guess is the guy that got the lure. Patrick, welcome. Uh, Bruce Wayne, Viva, you should also try a premiere video, Law Vlog. So I did two premieres, two or one. I think we did one. I have another one planned and I have the footage. I just haven't edited the video together. The thing about the um, premieres is they have to be longer than a six minute video. It's not, uh, it, it wasn't worth it. Not worth it, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't exploiting what Premiere does for a six-minute video. Um, we got Puzas in the house. They're talking. Kyle Bushcraft kid deleted his message. Have you seen Jack Black's YouTube channel? Have I seen it? Okay. I have a knack for – I don't know why, but I like – sometimes my comments get to the top. I got one on on Jack Black's video. I mean, I love it. It's it's phenomenal. It's it's like the waiting for Godot of of YouTube. It's the best YouTube channel, in I think, out there now. It's It's wholesome. It's funny. It's amazing. And the whole idea that it was set up as a gaming channel and then like he did the first video which said, you know, sorry, I can't get to the gaming. Second video says, ah, I still haven't get into the gaming, but it's coming. Don't worry. And like, I have a feeling that's going to be the theme where like it's actually just, you know, people came for the Jack Black gaming or the Jablinski gaming and they're going to stay for the Jablinski vlogs. But it's amazing. It's fantastic. I'm jealous because he has a theme. It looks like he has a thought out plan. Uh, the editing is fantastic. And I'm also jealous that, you know, he's he's a massively huge celebrity with um with already a base and it's it's not that it's easy to grow but like you know he's got he's got this is my theory by the way when you are a successful genius everything you do is genius and is sort of like retroactively analyzed in light of that genius and when if it were anybody else but jack black it wouldn't have the same engagement and people would be questioning it and sort of like the um the results sort of justify the uh 
the awesomeness, so to speak. Spe okay, now Mike Dancy, speaking of which, are you going to do that pinball museum at the Strong Museum of Play in Rochester, New York? I guarantee you, if I am ever in Rochester, New York, I'm going to go to the pinball museum there. Okay, and we got this. Okay, now, do we talk, we'll talk about the GoPro. So these, this is what they gave me, which is fantastic. They gave me the three-way. I'm not taking it out of the bag. I probably should take it out of the bag. Whatever, I'm not taking it out of the bag now. They gave me the three-way tripod, which is personally my favorite gadget that GoPro makes for the tripods because it's like an extendable arm and it's, do I have mine here? Yeah, hold on. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know what it is, is this thing. And then it's like an extendable arm stick, but the best part is in the bottom, you have a tripod. Look at that. And it's very functional, it's amazing. So anyways, they gave me one of these, uh, put that away. To give away, they gave me a small, small handheld tripod and the GoPro Hero 7 Silver, uh, which is the notch above the GoPro Hero 7 White that I gave away the first time when I went out and bought it. So. Here's the question, how do we do this? How do I do it in the most engaging way possible that is not annoying to the subscribers, but that allows the spread of the awareness of the channel of the Viva? Anyone with ideas? Oh, Sam Hanna says, I have to continue my project. See you again soon. Cheers. Have a good one, Sam. Don't forget Pitfall. I don't know what Pitfall is. Mark Allen Gromo says, Grolo says, just give it to me. That would be nepotism, and we frown on nepotism. Look at this, there's a kid outside in snow, and I, yeah, look at that. Okay, they cleared the sidewalks, but the snow banks are already quite high. Uh, okay, pick a number from one to 25. No, that's a terrible idea, Vince. No, so the idea is like, I'm thinking, I don't know, an idea that is better than, an idea that requires people to share the video and share the channel so that we can get the comments in, uh, whatever. Um, anyways, I'm going to think of one for myself just to give away the three-way to something that I select, but it's going to be a request and I'll, I'll figure it out afterwards. Um, just tag Facebook. Just tag on Facebook. Okay, thank you very much. MTL Maz says, sharing your channel on Facebook and tag a friend. But then how do I verify that? I mean, I, I'll ask it. Yes, the share and tag. The old share and tag. Yeah, I haven't thought of that one. People make a vid. That's... Judith? You just gave me an idea. MTL Maz, you also gave me an idea. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to marry this giveaway with the launch of the next video. Something like that. We'll figure it out. Okay. How about a video native to Facebook that talks about your channel? I could just, I could put up one. I could repost my um, rewind from 2018. Sarah Bell says, I love how well Canada deals with snow. Igor, stop it. You have to stop it, Igor. You're making me feel guilty. <laughs> right, I'm going to do live streaming once a week. I, I like it. Um, I just don't know, like, what do I do? I talk about controversial things. Do we? <sighs> Igor, thank you very much. Um, actually, making a GoPro video with a hashtag in it might work. Though I'm cheating since I just made a GoPro video this morning. Don't worry about it, Mike. That's a good idea also. Okay, we'll think of something. But it's, I'm going to announce it this week after the show on breakfast television tomorrow because I want to have it in the box for the show. Talk about your own life. In the in the native video, talk about controversial things. Now, but that's the thing. Like I, I No, because it, you cannot have nuanced enough discussion on Facebook or on social media to talk about the things that actually matter. And... This is nothing. People are such reflexive jerks on you on the on the internet. Like you can't say something nice. What did someone say? Oh, this was this was a hilarious experience. Um, and they're they're jerks, and I don't mean that they're jerks like by spirit. I mean they just don't think before they they write, or they just are they're so in love with getting the 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 reactions from posting something sarky or sassy or negative. But somebody and I feel bad. I feel bad. Uh, you know, even today, last night I'm sitting there watching some documentaries. I was watching some documentaries with my wife on the Ukraine because we wanted to understand the whole history of the conflict. Um, and while we're watching this, I get a comment on my phone and I see it and it says, I hate your kids or something like, I, like, I hate your kids. And it was in the video um, with the ostrich egg where we were cooking the ostrich egg. Right. I acknowledged those kids were making a lot of noise in the background. And then I immediately responded back and I said, uh, I said nothing better than getting interrupted <laughs> while watching a documentary to a comment that says, I hate your kids. And then, 
two seconds later, it was a comment, I'm sorry. And then three seconds later, both comments were deleted. And like, I felt bad because I didn't actually take the comment seriously, but I know the person felt bad. And then in the whole, it was a whole interesting dynamic where when you comment on the internet, you don't actually expect to reach a person and you don't really think that you are reaching a person or talking to a person. It's sort of just like, it's virtual. It's like you're talking to a robot. And then you realize that the person is, you know, when you realize the person is not just there, but reading it, absorbing it, and then responding to it, you realize that it's just not, you know, it, it, you're, it's real people. And people should just treat people like real people, even when they're doing it on the internet. And they just don't. <sighs> okay, what else? Why not talk about why you need the setup and we all vote? James Newlin, just keep trying. Okay. Cute video with your dogs will go viral on Facebook. I don't want to exploit my paralyzed dog for a giveaway. I have to promote my channel. I I have too many, I have too many, not standards, but I, I, I have too much guilt where I don't want to even people thinking I'm exploiting things that I should not be exploiting to promote my channel. Uh, Mark Allen says, it takes Dave and I an hour in person to flesh out the controversial things he and I disagree on, Vince. Yeah, and Mark is right. Mark is one of the rare people where we, we will disagree on a lot of things. We like each other. We have meaningful discussions where we understand each other and where we even, you can, well, Mark is also one of the most understanding people in the world where he will understand something that someone else says, even if he disagrees with it. Um, but like, yeah, it's, it's social media is not the place for it. And neither are, neither are corporate ads are not the place for it either. Comments, comments, Sarah Bell says comments purely for reaction. Yep. Okay. Shane's book review, Shane's book review. Sorry, Shane's books in review. Shane is a guy I met in um, Cincinnati at uh, Tim Schmoyer's creator video creators conference, and he's got his own channel also. Uh, you got to, you should check him out as well. And he says, "Here's an idea for you: run a poll two days before with three relevant topics, and always have one of them something, and always have one of them something you would really enjoy talking about." Vendu, as we say in, in French, Shane. Let me just cut and paste that. That's what I'm going to do for live streams. That's good. That's good. And I'm not going to talk about things that are going to alienate half of my subscriber base or just for the sake of it. <sighs> okay. Shane's good idea is damn good. Yep. That's uh, zero hour. You have morals and standards. Yeah. And it compromises my ability to grow. <sighs> I had, Oh, uh, DSLR Dave, I just emailed him. I made a thumbnail for tomorrow's video and I double check with my wife and my brother and what I call the Viva Fry Committee because I don't want to, I don't want to even feel like I'm crossing certain boundaries. And I said, the, the, you know, I, there's a part of my brain that is always neurotic. And I said to my brother and asked him, are people going to potentially misinterpret this as having some sort of inappropriate innuendo? And the wife and my wife and my brother and my good friend, Julia, if she's live streaming, uh, has not responded, but I know what they think. My brother said, yeah, it has an innuendo. So I'm going to, Dave, sorry, we have to retext that thumbnail. Um, Bushcraft says, hate is a strong word. And now I have to go back up to see what we're talking about. Comments purely for reaction. Email send. Awesome. Van saying thank you. You have morals and standards yet. Shane's a good idea. Chris Walls, great to connect with people with cool content. This is Pooza Studios. Kyle the Bushcraft Kid. <sighs> okay, now I'm behind. On the vlog, you should use the website gleam.io. I've seen several other YouTubers use it, and you can choose what people do for more entries. Okay, interesting. I want to check that out. Possibly. The other thing is, I have a short attention span. I get impatient quickly uh, in terms of like following through with ideas and I don't want more notifications. I need less because too many notifications with all the social media. I am family. It's about video recording device giveaway. I think that making a creative video about it and linked to your channel. But then I don't want to have the, the winner have to be a subjective winner. I don't want to be accused of pulling favorites or making decisions based on economy because shipping the GoPro is obviously cheaper to Canada and the US than overseas and I'm not I want everyone to have a fair chance, and I don't. It, it cannot be subjective in terms of determining the big winner. Brian S says that's what I said too. Gleam, ha! It's a free option worth looking into. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. One thing at a time, Dave. Vince is right. Where were we? Pudge, where were we? Oh, just, just don't, let's look at this doggy. Look at that dog. Oh, jealous dog coming. Eh, oh no, he's sniffing her out. Okay, good dogs. Yeah, there you go. Um. You can throw a GoPro at me. Yeah, Vince, Vince is also in Montreal. Yeah, it has to be purely arbitrary winners because I don't want to be accused of uh, selecting the Montreal winner where I can hand deliver. Okay, what else? Anyone have any questions that they've been dying to ask me? I'm a real big fan of names in the hat. I want zero hour. That's what I wanted to do for the first time. And then when we got like 100 plus comments on the first day and I realized it was going to take like seven pages of printing just to get them out and then cut them into little pieces. 
Um, Rachel Ross says, just get people to make a why you should watch video and choose your favorite. But I can't do that because there's no way of choosing without you know even having the semblance of impropriety. Miguel De La Torre is new and in the house. Hello from Cali. Miguel, how you doing? And we got Double J Vision. Hey there. Hello there. I wish I could click on your profiles while we're here. I have a question. What was my first car? My own first car, my own first car that we actually leased and and purchased was an Impreza. Um, we inherited my grandmother's Chevy Corsica, if anybody knows what that is. Uh, we had the Chevy Corsica, then I then I sort of inherited my other grandmother's car, which was a Pontiac Grand Am, which got stolen on Christmas Eve 12 years ago, and then we got uh, an Impreza, then we went to the Outback, and then we went to the Ford as the family grew, the cars grew as well. You know, Vincent says, I had a Corsica. Corsicas are, were like, you wonder how cars were legal. I mean, this was, um, this was, this was, you know, it was, it was a, it was a weird car. Almost as, what was the one that they made in, is it the Pinto? Oh, whatever. Um, have you ever tried the bubble, have I ever tried that bubble attachment to GoPro that shoots undistorted over and underwater? No, I never, I never tried it, but I don't find that there's distortion when you go, uh, from above water to underwater anyhow. Like the, when I do the air to underwater for fishing releases, I find it, I don't find much distortion. Zero Hour says, I inherited a Chevy Corsica. We're dating ourselves, people. I think uh, there might be a large portion of the crowd too young to know what a Chevy Corsica is. Mike Dancy. Okay, younger than me. Cheville. Chevelle. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, what else? What else did we say we were going to talk about? Okay, Pooz is going to send something to somebody, and I think it might be me. <laughs> Let's. We'll move off of the car topic. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys! Look at this. If I can do it without distracting them, he licks. I'm convinced he licks her back legs to try to get her to move. Is this the cutest thing you've ever seen in the world? Rachel Rawson says I had a Volkswagen Polo with four gear for my first car. I don't even know what that is. Chris Wickless says, my first car, 1979 Camaro. That's a cool car. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him alone because he tends to go a little north from the pause, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, okay, what else? Shall we, shall we put an end to this and I'll go outside and join the kids? Dr. Barney. Okay, so all that to say for this week, if everyone could, I know a lot of you already do it and, and, and thank you very much. If you could share my channel with three people, don't tag me. I don't care for verification or, or like whatever. I mean, you could tag me if you want. I would love it. Um, that would be one request. I'd love to get the channel out there. Um, if you could sh share my favorite, my, my, share your favorite video of the channel with three people and then see where it goes. Oh, I still wanted to get my classical version of uh, lasagna to PewDiePie. It looks like that battle's coming to... Uh... Oh, so here was the question. I was, I, we're going to be on breakfast television, and the question was whether or not I exploit the opportunity to do a shout out to PewDiePie. And this is how neurotic I am. I don't want to make people uncomfortable about associating themselves with PewDiePie because I can understand why some people are reluctant to, even though I disagree with it. Uh, so I just answered my own question. Won't be doing that. Your Twitter link said something about YouTube frustrations. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. So that was it. Okay, good. Who's this? Chris Wickless. So does everyone follow Metal for Breakfast? Or does everyone know who Metal for Breakfast is? I think a lot of you, yeah, Bish. I say Bish lasagna. We used to have a judge of the Supreme Court. Her name was Bish, B-I-C-H. Um, and uh, I always found what his misspelling of it funny because, okay, Mike gets this. I think a lot of your in real life social circles don't understand how much YouTube means to us as creators. They have zero. Well, this is the problem, Mike. They might know, but they might not be into it. And that's that's where getting to the YouTube frustration part. Um, Okay, so we're here with DSLR says, yes, metal is awesome. Drew the Scott says, I follow him. Yeah, we follow metal. Yeah, I think we're all, thing is, I think we're all in the same circle here already. So like sharing, we're sharing with the same people who already know that the other exists. What did I tell you guys? Look at this. Oh. Here we have spotted the, oh no, they spotted us. He's uncovered. I'm sorry, Bonnie. I did not mean to make you feel bad. Um, he lost, yeah, so, so th this is what happens. First of all, Everybody knows Social Blade. You can sort of track your daily growth or your daily loss or your daily views. Social Blade, is, it's a good tool. 
Metal says he, he put out his, his video where he made, you know, uh, he used a 12 pack of eggs as shoes and the test was to see how National Geographic, more and more like Planet Canine. And I'm David Attenborough. Oh, look, look, look. Isn't it beautiful? The majestic French Bulldog. And the, oh God, she looks like a seal. Oh no, now look at, oh, <laughs> this is the cutest thing on earth. She looks more like a, like a rat than a dog at this point. Oh, okay. I, I might, I might get demonetized for that. <laughs> um, so he, Metal for Breakfast made a video and um, it didn't get the response that he wanted, that he was expecting or that he was hoping for, given the amount of effort that went into it. He lost uh, six subscribers on the day, but his daily fluctuation is anywhere between like, you know, one to six up or one to three down. Um, and, and, you know, the reflexes, the algorithm is penalizing me or it, it really feels that way. And, and just to totally relate to it, the video that I did on um, uh, the DNA discount, why it's contrary to first degree price discrimination laws. I thought it was great. I thought it was, it was, the, it was timely. It was informative. I thought it was funny. Um, and you know, it, it gets, it got a couple thousand views and then was dead. And and then you you start thinking like you start thinking that someone's you start thinking crazy things. YouTube is penalizing me, or they they're killing my videos, or they're doing whatever. And then the reality is like sometimes you just have to step back as I do and say it's possible. First of all, there's there's too much stuff out there, but it's also possible that um, you know th my dad has an expression that he says all the time like the ball doesn't lie. And, and I, I think while going viral or tremendously viral is totally random, um, there's like there is some there is some this not success leaves clues so to speak but like you the, a, a, consistently tr uh, targeted videos when it has results it's for a reason and it might be that the videos that don't do well just don't they don't um what's the word uh engage with people despite your your, your deepest thought that it would and, and that's what's tough to deal with in terms of youtube i mean i swear to you i feel sometimes that for some something just killed the video or killed the traction it had or is hiding it like 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 you know not conspiratorial thoughts in in a sense um but it's like can you imagine the content that th that's out there the short short of notifications not coming up with people who are subscribed or people being stripped of notifications and even that i i posted a tweet on this the other day i'm, I'm convinced i was subscribed to someone and i hadn't watched a lot of their videos in a while do i say what the video is Okay, it's this guy. He's a German doctor that has a German vet, and he has a clinic in Gambia. And his videos, for anyone who has a stomach for it, it's the most satisfying thing in the world. He extracts mango worms from infested dogs in the Gambia, as he calls it. And I, I hadn't watched a video of his in a long time and hadn't gotten notifications. And then I started watching them just because it popped up on my feed. I watched a few. And then I started getting notifications immediately. Or I got a notification immediately. And I, and I realized, like, if you have people who are subscribed and they don't engage and they don't respond, then they stop getting the notifications. And it's not a conspiracy theory. It's not YouTube out to get anybody. It's just a question of YouTube trying to maximize exposure for videos that are going to engage and go on. And, you know, you have to you have to... Vince Lance says, yeah, Dave, it's called YouTube suppressing people since 2015. But the question is this, suppression, like you have your Mike Dice. I don't know if anybody knows Mike Dice, but he's sort of like, you have the Young Turks who are, call them on the far left. You have Mike Dice, Andrew Dice? No, that's the other guy, Andrew Dice Clay. You have M Mark Dice, I'm sorry, Mark Dice, who's on the, you know, on the right. He gets exposure. He gets, he gets other issues like demonetized and but I, then again, he does complain that sometimes his video, his videos get suppressed and, and they, people don't get notifications and they get uh, and people don't you know whatever. So th there's possibly suppression out there, but for like, I don't know if I've I've never I don't think I've teetered on the political where I would be getting targeted by the YouTube blacklist. Um, uh, and I don't think mental for breakfast is either. It's just like sometimes you put in a lot of work and your video means something more to you than unfortunately it means for the people who view it. And, and it's a tough thing to, it's a tough thing to deal with. Um, let's hear, sorry, let, let me read some comments. Mutual of Omaha. That, I remember Mutual of Omaha is also dating yourself, Zero Hour. That's another nature show before planet Earth. Could you make a, could you make a sunny side up ostrich egg video? I'm on a waiting list. I want an emu egg. If anybody can get me a black emu egg and not like on the black market, like the, the black 
shelled emu egg. They're totally legal. They're just at the, at the farm where they have the ostriches, they don't sell them. I want to do an emu egg video. So if anyone knows where I can get one. Zero Hour says, I feel like I think crazy a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's, and then you see people succeeding. Like uh, you see people who are keeping it Dutch is not in my, is not in my target. I mean, I don't have a target, but keeping it Dutch is a very branded channel. If no one's ever heard of it, check it out. They've been killing it. And they had a video Again, not something I would do, not for moral reasons, but the, the thumbnail was a shotgun at a lamb's head, and um, it was about killing a lamb for the meat, I think. I actually didn't finish watching it, but the, keeping it Dutch is killing it. They're getting thousands of subscribers a week. Uh, the videos, you know, one of the videos got 500,000 views, and, they, and they just exponential growth. Then you look at them and say, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Why is this, why is this channel, which is similar to mine, growing so much faster than mine, and you tend to, like, you, you start looking for other reasons other than the fact that, you know, engagement will beget engagement and, and you have to figure out what is engaging and you have to cater to that to the extent that you want to. Uh, did you know, did I know the YouTuber Kendall Gray? I did not. Who is Kendall Gray? USA France is watching you. <laughs> no, no, 17 says France is watching you. Going viral is way too overrated. We forget the fact that it's like winning the lottery. It happens once, twice in a lifetime. Yeah, there's viral, there's massively viral, but the things that go viral are they're not things that can define a channel. They're like, you know, the guy on the airplane filming somebody screaming at a kid. It's not something that can define a channel and it's not something necessarily, you, you don't want to necessarily be defined by your viral video. Bruce Wayne says, the thing with your channel is what you is what YouTube dreams about. No, they, they like you, David. They may impede you, but they won't suppress you. Pusa, Pusa Studio says, sometimes AI just glitches in overshadowing videos. Well, I think I screwed up my law video because I changed the title after 24 hours because there was I didn't like the phrasing of it. And I think changing your title while the algorithm or while YouTube is categorizing or like the bots are, are, are segmenting videos by title, I think that's an objective mistake that I made, but I'll, I'll live with it. Video wasn't getting, I mean, it got 2,000 views and then it just died off the face of the earth. So I don't think I was hurting myself all that much. Sierra LVX says, sometimes I watch a bunch of random channels and the algorithm doesn't know what to put on my homepage. <laughs> Every time I show a screen of my homepage, I'm horribly nervous that people are going to judge me based on what pops up and thinking that, um, you know, what I must watch. But I watch a lot of those mango worm extractions. It's, it's, the, best, it's the best channel ever. And I want to find a way. If anybody knows the guy, the doctor, the vet, uh, if anybody has a way to get me in touch with him, I want to interview him. I want to do a Skype interview with him. I want to figure out a way that I can get people to raise money for his clinic in Gambia because I know they survive off donations and they're doing God's work out there. It's 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 crazy what they do for the dogs. And I actually just saw one the other day where the puppy they put the puppy down because it was so infested with mangroves. And now I'm, there you go, tangent. Uh, Mike Dancy says ninety percent of the videos I watch are about resellers, Rallis Boot, Craigslist Hunter. I guess you just watch what YouTube feeds you. Well, no, I mean, I watch what I what I like and I search for stuff, but then they certainly do put up random stuff that I click on, like this guy on an airplane who was recording a baby screaming and someone yelled at the baby. Oh, yes. Yes, this is it now. He's, he's, he's warmed her up. Oh, no. we've. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been embarrassed. I'm terrible. Terrible. Um, okay. The Ranger 78 says, would love to hear your thoughts on voice over Pete's recent video about Fiverr withholding from someone. I have to watch that. I haven't watched it yet. That one was being recommended on my feed, but I didn't, I didn't, in fact, that one, if you look at, I think today's video was on my feed and I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Uh, okay. Reindeer, I'm going to, I'm going to look in that actually. I, screenshot, screenshot, three, two, one. Ooh, yeah, shot. Screenshot it. Okay. I'm doing that. AI automation program in ones and zeros is going to be a miss. Yeah. And that changing a title will kill it unless you do it months or years after uploading. Well, Vince, I did it. If everyone wants to go share that, that the, the DNA discount, and I changed the thumbnail three times because I didn't. Anyway, it's stupid. I, I messed around with it. I shouldn't have done it, but it wasn't going anywhere. How long is lives? Is this live stream been going on for? It's been going on for fifty-three minutes, and we're going to end it no later than six minutes. So let's do this. This is out of topics. This is I am family. But what are your thoughts on unschooling? Is that a typo or unschooling or homeschooling? Oh my, Mike Dance says, oh my God, am I watching mango worm removals? It's bad enough that my wife makes me watch Dr. Pimple Popper. Mike, I like your wife. <laughs> the, the pimple popping thing is, is the craziest, not fetish, but obsession. It's crazy. I, it's like, it's a metaphor for life. Um, Pooza Suda says, I did experiments when I was changing title and tags and descriptions multiple times during live stream and I thought it would kill it, but it didn't. It helped it. Well, that's the thing. I think... 
I, they say the first 24 hours is useful for categorizing. And if your video is not getting any traction or any response within the first 24 hours, changing it, uh, the title or the tags can't hurt because there's nothing to hurt. I, I mean, I think I have a video, my bucket drummer, my ostrich egg video, my, um, a couple of these, they're just doing so well, even though the titles are pretty lame because I did them at the time. I'll never touch the titles because I don't want to touch the performance of those videos. Um, unschooling. Okay, I intently, what is unschooling? I have never nursed a Red Bull for this long in my entire life. Now it's too late to finish. It's five o'clock and I'm not going to sleep tonight. Shane's book review says no need to reply. Wait a minute, hold on. Shane, where did you say something? Shane says... No reply needed, but thanks for the shout out. Now, my pleasure, Shane. Shane is in the video that I made when I went to Cincinnati. Great guy. Um, and a great beard. Shane, you didn't shave your beard, right? Am I still doing channel reviews? Yes. Oh, okay. And I'm still doing channel reviews. I mean, we're going to figure out a way to pick somebody's channel for the review. There is unschooling and there is homeschooling. It's not the same. Not. Okay, so here, let's see. What is the recent cost? What is the co what is cost? Of what is the cost of the GoPro giveaway? John Santa, there's no cost to this one actually. GoPro was gracious enough to give me the stuff so I can give it away. It's fantastic. Um, what, sorry guys, what is unschooling versus homeschooling? We have three minutes and forty five seconds to explain. Don't drink that shit, David. You're better off ordering one of my energy drinks. I can do that. I'm game for another organic energy drink. I used to drink, what is the other one, or base or the, the red one, which, okay. I'm guessing Google somehow takes all the trends generated by all their sources and promotes what's trending. Well, the funny thing is, Bruce, when I Googled it, I got, I was still in the top four results. When I YouTube did, I was number 12. So it's, it's just, it's all weird, but I mean, I don't think I've made enemies that I'm on a list, but you never know. Unschooling is letting the kids decide what they want to do. Um, yeah, it's getting dark outside, uh, Kyle, and that's why my lighting is uh, getting a little, a little grainy. Uh, I, unschooling is interesting. I think you have the rest of your life to unschool, but you, like this school, you have to learn certain things. Unschooling is not sending your kids to school. You being the first and only authority. Well, let me tell you something. I am family. Even when my kids go to school, I and my wife will be tied for the first and only authorities. And I don't. I mean, I'm joking, but. I would rather be the first and only influence as opposed to the first and only authority because if kids are anything like me, they have the tendency of rebelling against authority. Uh, they don't have any program to follow. I mean, it's interesting. Look, it sounds like free reign, but that's what summer's for. I think school, you should probably just have some baseline of, of what you uh, need to learn. Please tell me why you drink Red Bull. You are so fit. John Cena, I love it. There's no other reason. I, love, I, 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 believe, it has, um, I believe it has a psychological effect on me as well. Okay, uh, it's pitch black where I live in New Brunswick. Yeah, you guys are like, you guys are east and a little north, I think, and like a half hour ahead of us, eh? All right, that was it. Um, no Red Bull for me. It, 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 it's not as bad as everyone says it is. It's 110 calories. It's got half as much sugar. Oh, look at that, look at that. 200, let me see here. 250% vitamin B12. That's a lot of vitamin B12. Why are you not drinking gin, <laughs> Rachel? See, I have I have strict rules. The Red Bull I can't drink after five. The gin I can't drink before six, and the coffee I don't drink after four. And the exercise has to be done before I can do anything because you need to exercise before you can uh, indulge. The children, <laughs> the child, wife and children are outside playing in the snow right now. I should go out there. Uh, what's up, Pooza Studios? Vincent, Red Bull is bad. AF. Not saying that out loud. Did you know that the workers have to wear chemical masks while producing it? Okay, that may be true, but that might be for other reasons, because I would imagine just even inhaling, uh, you know, certain vapors, which you would drink in drink format might be the end of it. We're getting some things here. Um, can't stay, but stop it. No, metal for breakfast. Well, you missed, we talked about you earlier, metal, but uh, you'll watch it. I think it was somewhere maybe between the, the 40 minute mark and now frustrations with YouTube. Don't fret. Um, and don't get frustrated. Oh, they'll get frustrated. I get frustrated all the time with YouTube because... It has to be, if it can't be sustainable, it's unsustainable. And things which are unsustainable cannot be sustained. Mika's in the house. You made it get another Red Bull or Monster. No, the, and the other thing is I drank this one because it's the last one I had in the fridge and I want to get rid of it. M America Micah, formerly known as uh, Nick Fam TV. Nick, what are you going to do? Mika, Micah, sorry, Micah, Micah. It's Mike with an A, now I remembered it. Uh, what are you going to do with all of your shirts? Now I have to, what's my, no one's going to know what the reference is on my shirt. 
Okay, we're gonna go another few minutes just because Micah just got here. Thank you very much, Micah, for the for the super chat. Um, metal with the globby face, smash that like button, like, share, notification bell, subscribe, tell your mother, your grandmother, your father, your grandfather, your grandkids, everything. Uh, metal for Bexham, just scroll back down to the bottom here. Uh, David, one of the final steps requires breathing apparatuses. The solution is super toxic during this phase. I am willing to learn and I am willing to stop doing it as well. The world in us says, I think I've missed most of the stream. You have missed one hour and 17, uh, one hour and 17 seconds of the stream, uh, the world in us, sorry, but it was good. You go back, well, the timing we talked about GoPro, we talked about the, um, uh, geez, Aero Mexico ad and Gillette. Oh, we got the panda photographer. Jeez, it's picking up now. Puza. I look images because, I, uh, okay, I don't know what's going on. That's, that's, that's not good. And we got metal for breakfast. Keep on doing your awesome work. Do, oh, John Cena, do you do meditation every day? <laughs> John, is that question directed at me? I don't do it. I don't do meditation. I don't do yoga. Chris Wickless is in house, $9.99. Thank you for your cocktail. I hope, I have a bottle of gin that I got as a gift for a client and, and I got it a while back and then I ended up drinking it. So I got another one. It's called um, Uncle Val's Gin. If anybody's never heard of it, it's the best gin I've ever tasted, Uncle Val's. It, it was in Sons of Anarchy, which is how I sort of learned about it. So I have this bottle and, I, I'm, and it's in the cabinet. I got to give it to somebody as a gift and I can't drink it. So thank you. I will I will put that $9.99 towards a, a bottle of gin. If anyone sees me like reaching under the table, I'm just patting the dog right here. <laughs> Sorry, just to avoid any misunderstanding. Yeah, better than Red Bull. <laughs> well, Uncle Val's gin and Red Bull <laughs> is a waste of Red Bull and gin. Uh, Pusa Studios, okay. Good gin. We've got Rachel Rawson. Put that 99 towards mailing me that bottle. <laughs> oh, and I got the bottle of, uh, I finally got the bottle of, come on, proper number 12. Um, please, what's wrong with me? I'm going crazy. Um, how can I forget his name? Conor McGregor. Jeez Louise, like that's a moment of craziness. I never watched Sons of Anarchy except for the one episode where there was this gin in it. And I don't even think I saw the whole episode. What's the time over there? Oh, it's 11 o'clock here. It's five o'clock now. We got uh, Mark Decker. Um, okay, and what do we see here? Viva, when I come to see you, I will bring some Sheffield gin if I can. Oh uh, yeah, good luck getting the gin. Oh, my gosh, bringing gin from this, uh, into Canada is like the hardest thing in the world. I, got, uh, I brought my bottle from Vegas and I was expecting to be taxed on it, but I was within the limits. Now the dog is eating something. Um, Okay, so let's let's put a limit here. Three more minutes. Anyone have any questions? Anything anyone's been dying to know? Okay, we got uh, Panda Photographer, Puza Studios, cost me tons of funds. Okay, this is a separate conversation. Um, so let's do this. Stay tuned. Tomorrow's video is going to be lighthearted. Uh, then we're going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I figured it out. I know what we're doing for the giveaway. I'm going to announce it. Um, yeah, one bottle. It was one bottle. There was one bottle. There was some left from another bottle, but I wanted to get. I want to bring back. Uh, uh, I want to bring back an empty bottle and then an unopened bottle. Uh, how many Red Bulls do you drink? I, I'm not that bad on the Red Bull. It's maybe a week and one or two a week. Uh, we need a video of you if I diving into some snow mountain. I can do that. Mike Van Doozy's in the house. Ma oh, thank you very much, Mike. This is fantastic. Later, going back to look for black emu eggs, Mike. If you find them, uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. That'll be. Oh, what's up? Oh boy. Um, can't wait for another Montreal Monday. Yeah, I'm bringing the Montreal Monday back. Uh, it may not have the Montreal Monday in it because I want it to be watchable on a non-Monday, but it may have it in the title. And it's, it's, it's a cute video. It's nice. Just have to get it out there and uh, give away. Yeah, and then Double J Vision giveaway. Zero, I want to know, uh, Zero Hour, sorry, says, I want you to know I enjoy the, he the help out of these. I think that meant heck, and uh, thank you very much, Zero Hour, who's also got his own YouTube channel. Check it out. And uh, everyone makes their... Everyone can ha get their channels to be seen, and then you have to, you know, Zero Hour and I talk all the time. The question is like finding your demo, finding your demographic, your niche, your crowd, uh, which is why I think I'll always struggle because I want to, uh, I don't want to appeal to everybody, but I don't want to tailor my content uh, for specific demographics. Well, we're over forty people, so we can go for a few more minutes, and the kids are not back in the house. Okay, let's keep going for a few more minutes. And Mike Van, Van Mike Van Doozy, thank you very much. Um, Heck <laughs> no, no, zero. Oh, we have figured as much. I think uh, this is Mike Dancy. I think I just subscribed to most of the people in this channel. Yeah, they, they, it's 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 great. There's a bunch of great people with great eclectic content in here. I mean, we have a 
the one thing that I love about the No Small Creators, which is how I came about to meet all of you guys, is it, it, having a nice community is fun. Like I ventured into the comment section of the Young Turks, and um, I wasn't, you know, I didn't know everybody responding to my comments, and I wasn't getting nice comments. Like people were not nice, like they are in the comment section of our videos, and not like not not nice in the critique sense. Like uh, shut the f up, not nice. Like a, some of the responses were not nice, not nice, and I immediately get nervous when I venture out of a community that I know and, and trust. Um, Bruce Wayne says, Michael, oh yeah, oh, awesome, screenshot. My, Meyer at Vet Clinic Gambia, thank you very much, uh, Bruce, that's awesome. I'm following him, I'm gonna contact him. I want to, I have questions I wanna ask him, and I want to turn it into something of a community, not call it a fundraiser, just a way to get people to know of him and, 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 and help him out, because it's, um. It's amazing. Go check it out. What's the name, um, Bruce? While we're at it, what's the name of the channel? Because I know it's a complex name, like some Latin derivative, which I suspect is the name of the mango worm. And Sierra says, "Yeah, YouTube fans are really uh, the Young Turk fans are really opinionated." Yeah, it's like, um, it, but it's it's just conditioning. It's conditioning. It's improper conditioning as to how you deal with other humans in the digital world because you don't have to look at them as though they're actual humans. Uh, Rachel Ross and Zero Hour key, hashtag Keep It Coming. Bruce Wayne, John Cena. How much do you earn Viva as a lawyer? It, that's that's a question someone asked me before. It's um, it, it's impossible to determine if you ha if you're on salary at a law firm, could be anywhere between sixty thousand a year Canadian at a small firm to one hundred and fifty thousand at a big firm. If you're you know four, five, six, seven year lawyer, um, it could go up to a million dollars if you're a partner and you bring in business because you get percentages of your business. There it is, McQuaid. It's Carbilobia. Anthropophaga. Is that what it is? This is like a, like two seconds. I know it's going to come up on my feed all the time. There it is. Yeah, it's Cardilobia Anthropophaga. <laughs> Just, uh, wait, how do I do this? Right, get back here. Oh, whatever. That's that's it right there. Mango worm. Not that everyone should see it, but it, it could be upsetting to some people. Um, so that's it, uh, John. Just to say, it, it depends because it's 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 you eat what you kill, and you get a percentage of the business you bring in. You can be uh, a non-partner salaried employee. You can be uh, a partner, non-equity partner, which is different than equity partner versus managing partner. Whatever. There's all sorts of ways, but there's no fixed base. And some lawyers struggle to make a living. Ranger seventy eight says, "I'll be visiting Montreal for the first time this spring, and I'll definitely be watching your videos for ideas on what to see and eat." Reindeer, drop me a line when you're here. No questions asked, we'll go for breakfast to my favorite joint in Montreal. Bagels, etc. Or Snowden Deli. Those are them. Uh, Chris Wickless, okay, you were accepted getting a pig. 7D, okay, there's a conversation here, which I don't know what's going on in. When are you t when are you ta taking this show on tour? Oh, me, zero hour, one, one day. Can you explain the thumbnail? Hold on. Can you explain the thumbnail on the live stream video? Okay, it's John. So that picture, the base picture, comes from a video that I did called Artonic, Montreal Artonic Dance Festival, or something like that. If you put it in Artonic, A-R-T-O-N-I-K, and it was during Montreal's 375th um, anniversary birthday. And I was invited by the city to do a vlog, to do a vlog, and I went with them and did this dance where they were throwing the powder in the air and that was my face after I got out of the, the living color dance and it was beautiful. And it was, it was a, it's a moment that I love and that looking at that picture brings me back to the moment and I just love it. And the kids are back and this is a good time to end. We'll, I'll let them come in and we'll say goodbye. Yeah. Oh, I'm in here, come here. So that's the story behind the picture and then DSLR Dave turns it into like a, a spectacular thumbnail for the series of live streams. So all that I do is he's put the numbers on them so it's the same picture with the different number live stream. Oh, Jacob Show, we got new people in the house. Rachel Watson says, my para hockey team is sponsored by a big group of lawyers. Those people are loaded. Generally speaking, they, the, 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 the big lawyers make big money. Can you explain the thumbnail? Just did. Van Duzi, what is the name of your new channel? Uh, the True Mon Show. I'm in St. Martin, bro. It would be great to meet up. This is uh, the True Mon Show. I started watching some of your videos, True Mon. They were dealing with interesting topics. One of them, the one I saw was dealing with flat earthers, and I've always wanted to have a discussion with the flat earther um, and in, in a respectful manner, not like some of the ones I've seen online where people just try to ostracize and make fun of people. I, I would love to have a discussion with someone who believes something that I believe um, so the opposite of. And I'd love to, I'd love to know why and how and understand, understand the rationale and the thought process. Um, 
Okay, let's see. We can make the meetup in spring. Yep, Bruce Wayne says, I don't know if he's active. Okay, hold on. I'll keep on here. Bushcraft, Viva, what Viva, what was your first ever YouTube video? In what year was it? It was four and a half or five, maybe six years ago. It was me wearing a pumpkin on my head, pretending to be a jack-o'-lantern crossing. But I didn't make it for YouTube. I just shot it, and I used YouTube at the time to, like, store video. And I had that when I looked it up a while ago. Oh, this week I'm going to have to publish my first ever viral video, which was actually on a website called break.com. Um, if anyone's ever heard of it, but this was back in the day. Uh, it was funny. I'll post it. If I don't post it on um, YouTube, actually, I'll post it on Instagram or Twitter. My first ever viral video was so funny. It was fantastic. True Monster says, I'm your guy. Okay, we can, we can do this. We can do this. The gap perspective, the gap in perspectives would be interesting. Okay, who wants to come say goodbye? We'll end this live stream. They're cold. Shall I come to you? Okay, we're going to bring this to the front door as we say uh, good evening. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my good. Okay. okay, so this is what happens when you have a skin exposed in the cold. It's oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyways, uh, that's it. Like, sometimes the gloves don't. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. One, two, three. Huh. Uh. Sometimes the gloves don't cover the wrists, and then you get snow down them. And it, it so, um. <laughs> okay, that's this is a good time to call it uh, an evening. Am I missing any? The dog is sniffing his butt while he climbs over my shoulder. That's great. Okay, John Cena says goodbye. Bye, guys. I hope Mila gets snow day tomorrow. She's not going to get snow day tomorrow. Last thing we need is a three-day weekend. Weekends. <sighs> Weekends is when we used to be able to do things with people, and now, now we can't. Now we just – it's like herding cats. Okay, guys, so that's it. We'll call it. Uh, have a great day. Rest. Peace out, everybody. Thank you very much. Do you want to put your hand on the camera while I end the stream? Peace out on the green. Cover that green dot with your hands. All the way, all the way, all the way. Oh, there you go. And we're going to end the stream. They can still hold on. Oh, no. Okay, whatever. Bye-bye.